So, hey guys, Chauce here. Time for more some more showcases of the 10th and 11th legends. And today we are pairing Luffy and Ace up together with Soro Sanji. And this synergy is actually amazing. Soro Sanji's swap gives you an attack boost and aura boost that can be overwritten. And this is vital for the synergy with Soro, with Luffy and Ace. Just take a look. We start with Luffy. And the thing is that both Luffy and Ace help Soro Sanji too, which is very fun. But yeah, Luffy, as you all know, he's an attack booster. But if you already have an attack boost, he gives you a plus 2000 base attack boost instead. And with the weak buff, he will give both of the buffs. You will get the big attack boost and the base attack boost. And Luffy also reduces the swap effect by 3. And in Soro form, or in Sanji form, Sanji is fighter. So Sanji does get that minus 3 swap which is really cool as for ace ace of course as you know is a big orb booster but if you already have an orb boost he does have incredible effect burn conditional true full immunity and guess what with the weak buff you get the orb boost and the burn conditional and together we get a massive amount of buffs and of course ace has that amazing seed reduction captain and in Sunny form, Sunny is not only fighter, but he's also free spirit. So Sunny and Sora get both of those. So it's an amazing synergy. And I built two teams using this. The main issue, of course, is that Luffy and Ace together don't have the most obvious synergy. So you basically have to build around the subs. And you also, of course, want to get the EX for both or all three of them. We have Luffy EX, Ace EX, Soro Sanji EX, and of course, Soro Sanji Luffy help each other. Is Ace that is the odd one out. You need one specific unit. There are some different ones you can choose between. Yamato is the easiest. Yamato is part of Ace and Luffy and Soro Sanji. Uh, you can also go with Sabo. Uh, that helps both Luffy and Ace. And this team, we have the Yamato, so we're pretty good, but Tama actually works for Ace too, which is pretty funny. But yeah, these are also no tall speedrun teams. The main issue with that is to get Luffy ready, since he isn't helped by Ace, but Ace does have a lot of seed reduction anyway you can get from his kit. And yeah, like both Ace and Luffy and Sora Sunny, all of them have a lot of utility too. So it's actually really easy to team build with them as well. And honestly, this is probably the most fun I've had with the Annie Batch so far. It's a crazy synergy. And you of course also have access to all of the EX. Like here I use Ace's EX. And it helps make this stage pretty much free. And yeah, make use of the great lock here. Kill with Luffy. And yeah, the cool thing here is of course that Luffy is free spirit for this turn or thanks to Ace, so he will get the buffs in order to kill. Very cool. And yeah, time to start using this synergy. So we start with the super swap. You don't need the super swap. It just happened to be ready. We're going to wait a bit with Sora Sunny's EX, but yeah. Uh, we can use Luffy EX, this also gives us a color affinity. Not to all units, but Tama for example is going to hit like a tra truck after all of this. Then we can use Ace's special, get the ore boost and burn conditional and buff the color affinity from Luffy. And then when we Luf do use Luffy we buff Ace's uh, ore boost and get the base attack boost. And if we use Sorosanya now, we get all of the shame boosts and buff the attack boost as well. So the synergy is immense here. And yeah, just look at these buff numbers and remember everything of this, Tama is going to get. So Tama here is a literal monster in terms of damage. You don't really need to hit, even hit a perfect, I imagine. You can just hit down to half right away. Yeah, very fun idea for the future, I'd say, this synergy. Uh, for turn two, I'm going to be using Tama. Remove all of the debuffs here. And yeah, 
Caesar is close to death. On the final revive, we have the death out and resilience. And funnily enough, Sorosan is able to handle that. Death up with the special. And we have the Frankie support for resilience. And we have not a lot of buffs here, but Caesar is basically dead, so we're good. And yeah, we do get the rush kill because why not? We have barely an HP left, but it works out. And yeah, I built one more team with this synergy against another annoying arena, like both of these arena, two of the most annoying ones, Caesar and Kamaso. But yeah, easy, <laughs> no stall speed on with both of them. And yeah, pretty similar. End up going with Yamato here too and Yamato's use in both cases have mainly been for the Wano orbs not being able to be changed. So it's basically the same here for Yamato, but as said, with this trio, add a Yamato to it and you're good. You have basically easy access to all EX. You basically have to, like, Luvi's EX is ready, Aces is ready, so sort of something need one more straw hat basically, so incredibly easy to build around it. And as said, you also handle a lot of the buffs inherently with all of these units. Like in Captain Abilities 2, Ace resisting Special Reavers, Luf resisting the Spear. Um, yeah, specials add a lot to it as well. And yeah, super easy stage kill with the uh, Ace Barapan. It's important to remember though that Luffy and Ace themselves don't have that much Captain Ability like of course, they can't get each other's buffs that easily. But another issue is that, like, they can be 6 times captain up to 6.5 times, but to each other, they're just 4.5 times captains. Another thing interesting to use with this combo long term will be Sora Sanji's EX, since, or special as well, when you use it, since you can change everything to Free Spirit and Slasher which can be helpful, so if you build an in-team for example, you can make the entire in-team Free Spirit Slasher and they can still get the Call of Unity from Luffy for example, so yeah, pretty cool combo, I'd say. And yeah, the Nami here handles all of the debuffs. Luffy's CD not quite ready, but as you see like on this team, it's not like I added a lot of extra CD to the team, but after I use Ace's special here, Luffy is ready, so yeah, I'd say this team is pretty damn reliable in terms of that. And as I said, both these teams have been literal node stall speedrun teams, and it has actually not been hard at all to build, which you will think it will be considering all of the restrictions, but in reality, not that bad restriction since Straw Hats and Yamato have so many good units. Sabo as well, which we could easily also try and fit. And yeah, I'm going to do what I talked about last video here. I'm not even going to hit, hit with Bro I'm just going to tap with Brooke and he's going to one hit KO Kamaso, which is absolutely insane damage because Brooke gets every single buff here. Don't even need a shame buffs, I just need to tap and Kamaso is going down without a fight, basically. Yeah, insane damage. That's enough damage to kill any arena without hitting up good even. And yeah, burn kills, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.